Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, committee members. It is a pleasure to present to you today Senate Bill 177 concerning the prerequisites to the authority of the Unit Owners Association to pursue resolution of disputes involving construction defects. At the outset, I would like to thank you all for your patience in, in hearing this important piece of legislation today. I'd like to thank all of the stakeholders that have participated in this process, many of whom are behind me. I'd like to thank all the people that have taken the time to come here to engage in this important process that ultimately results in us setting policy for the state of Colorado. Uh, I'd like to give special thanks to the colleague to my left. Did I just say that? Yeah. <laughs> um, Senator Uberry, I, I this is a three-year journey for me working on this, this process. And uh, we were just chatting. I remember when Senator, Senator Uberry first came in. And I uh, worked on a bill that first year. And I remember hearing somebody actually came and told me that he had an interest in this topic. And uh, that was welcome news, uh, given the makeup of the, the General Assembly back then. And really what, what came as a result of that is not only a, uh, a, a relationship over a topic that interested both of us, it's really a friendship. And I just want to say uh, how much I appreciate his engaging in this topic. He has been tireless. Uh, in, in, in working on this, and, and really much of the lion's share of the credit for this bill um, really goes to my colleague, Senator Uber. He has uh, written point with the stakeholders and engaged in the topic. It's a particular interest. I think you'll hear about this, given his constituency and whatnot. And um, just want to take the opportunity to, to thank you, and, and what a pleasure it is to work with you on this. Um, Mr. Chairman, the members will be brief because the folks that have traveled far and wide and are very engaged in this topic, and I want to make sure we allow plenty of time to allow them, be it for or against, to weigh in on this important topic. Um, Senate 177, at its heart, addresses uh, the construction defect lawsuit approval timelines. And just in the broadest of terms, it really focuses on the for sale multifamily home product that is woefully um, short. There's a shortage of that product in Colorado. It causes a uh, problem and great pain to some of the uh, portions of our population that we should be greatly concerned about. It affects the first time home buyers who are desperately trying to get into a new home, um, dual income families young children where they're saving, scraping, putting together a down payment, they want to get into that first home and that often what you would think would be an affordable product in the uh, for sale multifamily home market is simply not available. You go to the other end of the spectrum and you'll see seniors that have invested in the community, they've raised their families there, they'd like to stay there, downsize from the big house, and again, that smaller uh, multifamily product is simply not available. We spend a lot of time at this, at this uh, building talking about transit and our transit corridors, the light rail, and yet when you look at those particular areas, again, there's a, a, a shortage of this product. So we're trying to promote transit-oriented development in, in, uh, on the one hand, and yet there's an impediment to that. A great deal of discussion has gone on around this topic, and when you hear <coughs> the size and scope of the stakeholder process, uh, you will see the hard work that has gone on uh, gone into this. Um, this bill is not a panacea. It can't be labeled as a as really any one thing. People have tried to put labels on it. It's a consensus bill that uh, the folks, the experts in the field, believe will help facilitate the building of this product. And, and that's why my colleague and myself bring this. It focuses on. Uh, really two things, the detail of which you'll, you'll hear about, but it focuses on bringing people together when there is a conflict. And let me say at the outset, we all know and, and you'll hear some horrific stories. Nobody wants for a, a problem built home or townhome to, to go unaddressed. Nobody push that on anybody. 
What this bill does is to facilitate communication and people working it out. We use that in so many other areas. It's something we we do um, in many aspects of, of state policy, and, and it's what we're trying to foster here. So it fosters mediation and arbitration, folks getting together, identifying a problem, and figuring out a way to get it squared away. The other thing it focuses on is information. The very folks that are affected most by litigation in this area need to have uh, proper exposure to the information so they know what they're getting into. And that typically comes through the unit owner organization, the homeowners association, and so this bill addresses that. One of the key things behind this, and, and colleagues, you, you know when something hits critical mass in this building, local jurisdictions, including my own from, from Parker, who I believe will be testifying, uh, a number of different jurisdictions have said, hey, we need to address this problem, and so we're going to do so through local ordinance. Um, this is a matter of statewide concern, and, and that's really a class A signal to this place that the legislature needs to do something. And so uh, the plea here after the discussion here is that this bill be, be given approval and so that we can say that the state legislature has heard the need, recognized the issue, heard the urging of, of the local jurisdictions who, who have wanted us to do something, requested that over and over again, and then uh, we're acting on it again, acting in a way that promotes people working out their issues and uh, facilitating the information that ultimately allows that to happen in the best way for all the parties concerned. So I'll end this brief explanation before I begin. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Senator Mulberry, for your partnership in this. And thank you all who've come here to engage in this important process. Thank you, Mr. Chair.